This week, we're taking a walk on the wild side of the Emperor's Scorpion. Hi guys, welcome to the wild side and this week I've got a creepy crawly creature to focus on. Look at that. This is an emperor scorpion native to sub-Saharan Africa. You can find these animals in the des deserts of Africa hiding under a rock or a log. Take a look at that stinger packed with venom to help immobilize their prey. Now typically a scorpion is feeding upon crickets, worms, uh, little invertebrates like that. However, when threatened, they can also use this very powerful stinger as a means of defense. Now, am I allergic to a scorpion sting? I don't know. I really hope I don't find out. In fact, uh, it probably would be okay. You see, I say probably, because I don't know how my body would react. But if you look at a scorpion, you can tell exactly how potent the venom is by the size of the pinchers. Look right here. The larger the pincher, the less potent the venom. Think about this way. If a boxer has a good right hook, he probably doesn't need to throw a kick in a fight. That's the same way with these animals. They've got a pretty good kick, no need to have a punch, or vice versa. So for an emperor scorpion like this, they've got very large pinchers to help defend themselves. Very, very big pinchers, which means the back end, the potency of the venom, is going to be quite less. Now, if you're in an area like the southwestern portion of the United States, and you see a scorpion outside and it's got very thin pinchers and a nice thick tail, well, that's a pretty good indicator that that animal is packing a venomous wallop. Now, another cool thing about emperor scorpions like this is that scorpions are a member of the arachnid family, which means they are closely related to tarantulas, spiders. In fact, if you just look at the makeup of a scorpion's body, you might notice some really cool telltale signs. For instance, those front two feeler legs on a tarantula, well, they've just morphed into pinchers. That long abdomen, that wide abdomen, the, the spiders use to spin a web, that's elongated into that tail. And then right at the tip, where the webbing would come out for a spider, that's where that stinger is nice and located. Now, another really cool thing about that tip of the tail, that stinger, they actually go to the bathroom right out of that. And they go to the bathroom at the same velocity that a bullet shoots out of a gun. <clears throat> right out the back end, they'll flex the tip of that tail and whammo, you've got a bullet full of poop right there. Now, another really interesting thing, about the emperor scorpion is that they make pretty incredible moms. Look at that. Isn't that a, just a loving mother face? So cute. An emperor scorpion will give birth to roughly 30 young and they'll have all the babies congregate on mom's back. And once all the babies are on mom's back, then she'll begin to feed, mush up the food, put the food right up to the babies and one by one they'll go to the mouth and begin to eat. Now, after a few, after a few days and the babies start exploring around away from mom. As soon as it leaves mom's back, they leave the protection of mom and she might even get a chance to uh, maybe eat one of them. So she's not the best mom once they leave the comfort of her back. However, she does take very good care of them initially. Now you can find scorpions like this living on their own or in very, very large groups. Now remember, if you in, uh, come in contact with a scorpion in your backyard, please don't go picking it up like this. Yeah, you never know the potency of the animal's venom. And we don't want you to have an allergic reaction to any scorpions in your backyard. Now, again, an emperor scorpion found in the deserts of Africa, but you can find these animals as very, very popular pet items. Why would this animal be a popular pet? Well, you don't gotta take them on walks. You don't have to change their water out every day or feed them every day. These animals are very low maintenance, helps teach kids a responsibility factor. Uh, but you do have to really make sure their habitat is nice and set up make sure they have good humidity. You see, they have an exoskeleton. That means their skeleton's on the outside of their body. And every few weeks or so, they molt. They'll actually crack open from right here, their body, their exoskeleton, and they'll go crawling out of their old body and emerge eh, very weak. They need a few, a few hours to harden and then on they go. And as they continue to grow, they continue to shed that exoskeleton. Emperor scorpions are a really neat animal. And it's a pleasure to bring them to you this week on the wild side. So for now, Clay signing off, saying stay wild, stay walking on the wild side, and stay away from Emperor Scorpions. <laughs>